You ever wonder what having all the options on your car would look like? Let's take a look. Hey, what's up YouTube world? It's Ryan from Riding in Style. And today, I'm gonna take you through my car to let you know that this is a fully loaded Hellcat that I got uh, when I was stationed in Texas for a little while. And if you ever wondered what some of the options look like that Dodge offers, maybe you're considering a couple of them, I'm gonna go through the options that came with this car. And I'm actually gonna put a price list together on what they all cost at the end and I'll try to itemize them but I may have to go on the Dodge website to uh, to get the prices but let's take a look first we're gonna start with the exterior now the octane red paint here is an upgrade and I believe it was an additional five hundred dollars to get this color on the vehicle and keeping in mind this is a 2017 Dodge Charger Hellcat and it did come with all the options that's what today's video is about and I'm telling you folks I love this octane red color I mean in the Sun again the videos don't do it much justice but in the Sun it just shines and the the amount of compliments that I receive from people, even if they're not car people, it's overwhelming. Another option on the exterior, which is actually part of the interior, is the sensors on the back, which is like the, uh, I guess it's the tech package, reverse sensors, but that would be another option that came in with this vehicle. Option is the brass monkey wheels this was definitely an upgrade um, offered by Dodge and I believe it goes really nice with this octane red color the red and gold for all you San Francisco 49er fans this is your color combination right here Let's just take a short intermission for a cold start. So that's a brief summary, kind of running down the uh, options on the exterior. Now, Let's move into the interior. This car did come with the, I guess the Laguna leather. I don't know if this is considered the Alcantara, but you can see a clear difference here between the seat material on the outside and on the inside. It's more of like that suede material with the design inside. It actually feels pretty nice. Uh, I, I was a little worried that it would be a little too hot, especially for the climate in Texas and also here in Hawaii. But riding in this car and the um, above 100 degree temperatures, I can honestly say that this isn't as hot as I thought it was going to be. Plus, it helps that the car comes with the seat coolers. It's like a little air conditioner in the seat so you can feel it on the, uh, the back area if you turn it on. I think this was an upgrade, as I saw it on the Dodge website, and I will confirm that. Another upgrade, if you ever consider these, are the red seat belts, and I think these are a nice uh, addition, depending on the color uh, scheme that you're going with. As far as this car, it stands out because of the exterior color, however, it's not a direct match. I think the seat belts are more in line with the red brake caliper covers, but there's just a slight 
differentiation in the color tones with the octane red and the uh, the red seat belts. However, it does add a nice pop into your car when you open it. You can clearly see where the seat belts are. It doesn't blend in with the black. I think it's nice. Another upgrade is the, I guess it's called the, uh, the tech package, which does come with the, the navigation uh, system set up. And it also has the blind spot monitoring uh, features there. You can see it that those little things turn yellow when there's a car in your blind spot or as you're reversing and there's a car uh, or an object close to the back of your, let's see here, there it is, those sensors picks up on that. Yes, it does have the Harman Kardon audio system with all the um, surrounding speakers and subwoofer. And I'm telling you, I'm not one of those guys that likes to blast my stereo, but it does add a nice touch and clarity to the music that you do decide to play. And that is also an upgrade. Now let's check out this little guy. Lacking some vitamin E, you just open up that little shade and let the natural sunlight in. And let me tell you, it feels great. Got the little switches here. Vent will just crack it open, but it stays um, covered. And then of course you can open it, close it. So this is what the vent does. All right, that's a little bit of airflow in as you're going um, the speed limit. Then we're gonna open it this way. <laughs> ah, I got that nice little flap that pops up. Fresh air. We got that nice breezes coming in today. I feel it. If I didn't have this option, I wouldn't know if it's a nice breezy day or not especially going the speed limit. Now, the good thing about the Hellcat is that it comes with a lot of options already that come standard. It's already built into the price of the vehicle. But as I went through today, I showed you a lot of the options that are additional, that you know cost extra through the dealership. And others have asked, so what else are you gonna do to the car uh, performance-wise? And you know the hard part about a car like this is it's a finely tuned instrument and there's a wise saying that goes don't add paint to a masterpiece now i've done a few things to it and i'm debating on making a future video of the things that i've actually added to the car since i've had it so if that's something you're interested in seeing like a recap leave a comment below and uh, let me know also if you have any questions about how i like certain features or um, questions about the things i've covered in this video also leave a comment below I love to hear from you guys. I read each and every comment, and they make me smile. All right, folks. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this little tour of the accessories and all the upgrades that came with my car when I purchased it. It had all the, all the options, and it had some that I wouldn't have chosen had I bought this new from the dealership. But since it came with the car, I figure I might as well show you for any of you considering adding these on to maybe your future. So if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. It doesn't cost anything. Just press that thumbs up button, help out the channel. And also, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. This is a car-centric channel, mostly geared towards a Mopar community, but honestly, it's about muscle and performance. I just want to thank you all for watching. This is Ryan from Riding in Style.